everyone welcome back to another vlog it is tuesday today it's the morning i am dressed and ready for the day it is so misty outside i literally feel like i'm in some kind of fairy tale storybook i can't see that far um on the view i can literally see like what is in close proximity to the window because it's so misty so i'm a little bit nervous for driving but luckily I'm not going too far today. I'm heading out shortly to go and get my nails done. I need to leave in about five minutes. Um, so I'll keep this quick. I'm off to get my nails done. I'm going to just get my Biab redone. Um, look at my nails. How incredible is that? I cannot believe that is my natural nails. Honestly, I am so impressed with Biab. My nails have never, ever, in my whole entire life been this long and this strong it's crazy i honestly just can't believe it what usually when i um have gel you guys might remember i used to do my nails myself at home and i have a gel kit which was um my mum's and honestly they would last for a week and then they'd start chipping and like flaking and my nails would always break Bia is so strong it is incredible i really recommend it if you're looking to sort out like the health of your nails and you want them to actually grow i have had these on for about two and a half weeks now um so if i go super close you can see they've grown out quite a bit and they're a little bit discolored i sometimes find that this nude color does get a little bit discolored um and the french is chipping slightly but they still look quite nice from a distance um i usually like to get them done every kind of like two to three weeks usually two and a half um, is when I find that I really want to get them redone but very sadly two of my nails broke completely snapped off really short I am so sad um, it was when I was doing a big clean last week I was sorting out all the cupboards and like getting my hands in there and I just felt one of them like oh just excruciating pain luckily they haven't gone too low down so i can still get some biab on there and grow them out a little bit i think in the next month before springtime um but yeah i think i'm gonna have to get them cut down quite a bit and i'm just gonna go for a simple nude and just keep them nice and minimal and try and fix these ones because i don't want them to look like mismatched so yeah that is my plan for this morning i'm then coming back and filming this afternoon but my outfit of the day i thought i would show you just really nice and simple comfy but a little bit smart so let me show you in the mirror so today's outfit i am obsessed with this color coordination navy at the minute is just really having a moment so i'm wearing this really old h&m mohair knit i've had this for years i think they still sell a similar one so i'll link that below trousers are reese i love these trousers so much navy with like a camel stripe down the side just such a comfortable like jogger style tailored trouser and then i've actually just put my acne studios manhattan sneakers on because these are super chunky and i need to take all my trousers up um, and if i wear like lower trainers they just drag on the floor so these are the ones i'm gonna wear today and then i've just popped on my sophia pool bomber i've again had this for a couple of years and i love it so much it is just gorgeous i sometimes just tuck that little waistband in at the bottom just so it has a little bit more of a shape to it but yeah very simple smart but comfortable look today so yeah that is my hair my clothes for the day super simple and i'm ready to go and get these nails sorted out Good morning everyone, it is bright and early. I am so annoyed this morning because, sorry if I look really puffy, I had a really bad sleep last night. I honestly could not sleep. You know when your brain is just like whirring with thoughts and when I do that I always write them down. I've got like a journal page in my notes and I always write them down but I just couldn't sleep for ages and then I just had the worst sleep so I'm feeling like i've been hit by a bus this morning <laughs> um but oh my god i'm so annoyed yesterday i um edited this entire vlog 
and I filmed all week. I did such good filming. I filmed my therapy call. Oh my god, I filmed so much and my memory card decided to wipe the entire footage of the week. So, that means this vlog is literally starting of what you've just seen on Tuesday, me getting my nails done and now we're here and I just, I'm so annoyed but life goes on. So anyway, I'm going to vlog, I was planning on ending the vlog today but I'm going to vlog today and over the weekend as well. I don't know what I have planned at the weekend yet, but we shall see. Um, so I thought I would show you my skincare this morning because I have been using some really gorgeous products and I thought I would share my morning skincare routine with you. I am in desperate need of a gua sha this morning, so that will be happening. So firstly, last night I used my Tan Lux face drops. I always use these maybe like two to three times a week depending on how my skin and color is looking but I do all my evening skincare and then I just pop a couple of little drops on and buff it in with an old NYX big fluffy brush just to blend it all in and I do it like down my neck and then it kind of just like blends into my body tan which I also want to mention so I used a new tan I picked this up from boots the other day after my nail appointment and I used it for the first time the other night and oh my god it is incredible the color of this is stunning it's so natural I really really love this Saint-Tropez product it's the Lux whipped cream mousse I will link this below the only thing I would say is I wouldn't recommend applying this at night and going to sleep in it which is usually what I do with tan I've done that my whole life but I wouldn't recommend that because it's really sticky and it actually feels really uncomfortable to sleep in even when you've got like pyjamas on. So yes, I think if you're going to use that tan, I would apply it in the morning and let it marinate all day. So I think next week I will probably apply it when I'm just having a cleaning day or an admin day or something like that. So, on to skincare. I have just applied my eye cream, the L'Oreal Revitalift Filler Hyaluronic Acid Eye Serum. This is 2.5% hyaluronic acid and caffeine. This is so lovely. It's actually got these kind of cooling metal balls on the end. So, it's really lovely to apply in the mornings. I really enjoy that product at the moment. So I then like to use some kind of hydrating serum. Recently, I've been using the L'Oreal Revitalift, the matching one to the eye cream, but this one is for the face. 1.5% hyaluronic acid serum. This is gorgeous. It's really seamless. It's really silky, quite liquidy. It just goes on your face really easily. And it's just a really inoffensive product that hydrates really well. But I recently received this, which I've been using the last couple of days, and I'm really enjoying it. This is the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Genius Lift Elixir. And honestly, I want to give this a go um, for the next few weeks because I am just in love with Beauty Pie. I feel like all of their products are packed full of such good ingredients, and they really work. I'm going to give this a go over the next few weeks and see what I think. But so far, so good. The other product that I'm loving from Beauty Pie is the Super Healthy Skin Deluxe Body Cream. This is absolutely incredible. I use this every morning because it's got the most incredible scent. Oh, so nice. It kind of smells like a holiday. It's almost like an extension to my fragrance. I love having my skin smelling really gorgeous in the mornings. Once I've done my serum, I'm then gonna do another serum. This is the Rose Ink Radiant Reveal Brightening Serum. And this is a little bit heavier than a serum. It's kind of more of a cream consistency. But again, it's just super lightweight. Really hydrating. And it just feels kind of really refreshing on my skin. Then I'm gonna lock all of that in with my Honest Beauty Everyday Radiance Plus C Moisturizer. I will link all of these products below in case you want to check them out for yourself. So when I use my Gua Sha, I apply all my skincare first and then use this to kind of sculpt out my face. I do 10 strokes on my jawline, my cheekbone, and then the other side as well. Okay, 
wa sharing is complete. I'm just gonna do really simple makeup today. Um, I am going into town today to see my mum and I am also going to Viva for a filler appointment. I'm going to get a little top up in my lips. I haven't had them done for probably six or seven months now. So I like to just have a little bit of a top up, just a tiny bit of volume around the outside. Okay, on my skin recently, I've been mixing my Rose Ink Skin Enhance Tinted Serum with a tiny bit of my Ambient Soft Glow Hourglass Foundation. And I feel like this just gives such a nice natural coverage. Really just looks like my skin, but gets rid of any like pigmentation or any discoloring. So I literally do that much of foundation and that much of the tinted serum. Then using my number three rose ink brush, I just blend that together on the back of my hand. And then I just start by applying all the product, kind of just sponging it all over my face just to distribute it all. And then I blend it all out. I like to do this because it makes me realise that I don't actually need a lot of product. Those tiny little half pumps just cover my entire face. So I just blend it out. I just find this creates a really nice base and it lasts all day. And it just leaves my skin really nice and glowy. Just a really nice finish. I always find when I've got a tan, I use less makeup i don't know why i think maybe it counteracts the redness on my face okay so that's that all blended in it's such a gorgeous finish i'm just going to go over with my rose ink concealer this is in the shade 50 and i'm just gonna go over a couple of little blemishes and just under my eyes as well I'm also going to use my Hourglass foundation brush to blend this in just because it's quite dense and I really like the finish that it gives. Before I leave today, I need to parcel up some vintage items that have sold, which is very exciting. And I'm going to post those in town. I've got a huge spot coming here, it's so annoying. I need to fill up with diesel because I don't have much in my car. And it takes me about 45 minutes to get to Tamridge Wells. So it's quite a long drive. Okay, that is like the basics of my makeup. And then I'm going to add some colour. So I'm going to go for Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade number two. With just a really big brush. This one is from m and Beauty. My mirror is so tiny. I have to like move around to see myself in it <laughs> honestly i am so tired today i feel like i need to go back to bed okay bronzer done i'm gonna do some blush i'm gonna use my rose ink blush i think this is in the shade dahlia but i can't remember because this is a refill and it doesn't say on the bottom it's such a gorgeous like rose blush rose shade i absolutely love it how beautiful. So lips are always the same. MAC Spice Liner. I've been really contemplating getting lip blush done. Because I wear lip liner 24-7. I find that the natural colour of my lips gets really lost in my face. And I just love this lip colour so much. This lip liner is like the only one I will ever use. I love it. I feel like it matches my face and hair and skin colour so nicely. I just, as soon as I put it on, I just feel like me. So, I don't know. I'm really thinking about getting lip blush. They don't overline your lips. They just apply the colour on the colour of your lips. So, it doesn't make them bigger or anything. Um, but, it would just mean that I've got permanently lovely blush lips. Which I'm kind of kind of contemplating doing but oh, i don't know okay i'm just gonna curl my lashes 
And then mascara, I am currently using the L'Oreal Pro XXL Lift Mascara. This is such a good mascara. I really recommend it. I mean, it's such a good price. It's not like a £40 mascara. And I saw quite a lot of people raving about it, so I thought I would give it a go. And I'm actually really impressed with it. Look at that. And that's only phase one. So you've got phase one and then you've also got phase two, which makes them like even thicker and even longer. Sometimes I just do phase one. Um, kind of, It kind of depends how much time I have in the morning because I like to leave my lashes to completely dry and then go in with the phase two. So if I don't have much time, I just do phase one. I need to wake myself up. Oh my God, I feel so groggy this morning. Okay, just gonna pop on some lipstick. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This lipstick is probably my everyday color. I just really love that pale pink, pretty kind of like girly color. And that is my finished everyday makeup. I'm gonna spritz with some Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Et voila. Okay, I am leaving the house in about five minutes, but I thought I would just quickly show you what I'm wearing. So, we have got a very simple outfit today. Navy Knit is from Zara Men. I got this in the sale a while ago. I absolutely love this. Size extra small men's, so it's such a good fit. This is kind of what it looks like undone, but I like to tuck it up and then tuck that bit in at the front a little bit. Um, jeans are just my Zara straight leg jeans. I rolled up the bottoms just once, just so I've got a little bit more ankle on show. Um, this coat is under the stories. I love this coat so much. Trainers are Chanel and that is it. I'm going to take my Goya tote because I need to take my laptop to do some bits with my mum and some parcels. I'm also just going to eat this cereal bar really quickly. It's a special K1. This is the red berries flavour. I'm going to put this in my bag and eat this on the way because I don't have enough time to have breakfast but if I don't eat breakfast I'm going to be hungry. So yeah that is my outfit. My lashes look absolutely incredible. That mascara is unbelievable. Okay, I've just got to Tunbridge Wells. That felt like the longest drive in the world. But I am here and I'm parked. It's so busy. I can see my mum just over there. So um, I'm going to go and meet her and we're going to go and grab some lunch. I'll show you where we're going and what we're up to. But it's a gorgeous day now. I feel like my makeup looks quite nice today. Um, so yeah, I will catch up with you soon. We're just in the White Company and I've got this one at home, which literally smells amazing. But how cute are all of these? The Seychelles ones has got little shells in. I might pick up a new candle. They've also got a new spring. They've also got a new spring scent which literally smells incredible. Honeysuckle, rose and cut grass. How pretty is that? Yeah it comes in like all of the different candle shapes, the room spraying. I think I'm gonna get this one. I love that. about to get my lips topped up. Um, I'm with Dr. Vicky today. The team are literally my favorite people ever in here. I just love them so much. They're always so welcoming. We always have a lovely chat. And yeah, I'm literally just gonna get a little bit more volume in my lips because I haven't had them done for a while. And I just want a little bit of something so that my side profile just kind of like balances out a bit better. Yes, next week. Oh no, next month. Yeah, in March. I'm very excited. Okay, lips are done. You can literally instantly see how much more volume. Although I literally cannot fill my mouth. <laughs> 
Okay, I am back in the car. Lips are done. Um, I thought I would show you now because it's just a little bit better. I've just popped some lip balm on that I've got in the car just because um, my, my lips always get really dry after I get them done. They're obviously a little bit swollen now. They will go down a bit, but I just really wanted a little bit more volume. Um, mainly for my side profile and so I don't have to overline my lips as much but without getting that like duck vibe so just really really natural and it just kind of like frames my face a little bit better and looks a bit softer um, so yeah very pleased with that Dr Vicky is the best I actually have a discount code for Viva so if you wanted to book any treatments or any facials or anything or have a consultation it's Lauren 15 I will leave it all linked below I am also in no way shape or form saying that you need to get anything done to yourself you do not it is not essential everyone is beautiful the Way that they are and I hope that you guys know that's literally what I preach and what I think but I think if there is something that you want to do and you're thinking about it you just have to make sure you're going to the best place possible and it's somewhere that really cares about you is really professional medically trained nurses and doctors and you're not just going to some random place that charges 100 pounds and fills you with god knows what do your research and that is why i love viva because they are all about natural enhancements anything that they do it's always natural they never make you look like you've had work done you just look so fresh and that is what i love so yeah that's just a little disclaimer i also picked up some flowers from mrs florist which is the most gorgeous florist and i always just go in and like pick whatever i like so these are what i picked two white hydrangeas some roses and a couple of little pretty spring bits and bobs so nice i'm gonna get those home and pop those in some water and I'll see you when I'm home. I'm gonna pop some music on, have a little sing song. It's Friday, it's 10 to two. I should be home by nearly three. So yeah, let's head home. Okay, I am back home. I've literally just walked in. Um, you can probably see my lips in a better light now. Obviously, Vicky's taken off all my makeup around my mouth <laughs> um, to do the anesthetic and everything, but I am so happy with them. I feel like it just gives a much softer, plump look. And yeah, I'm very happy. They are a little bit painful. Um, if you do have any questions for me regarding like treatments or anything, please comment below because I'll get back to you. And I just want to say again, I am very aware that I don't need these treatments. They're not essential. I know that I would look perfectly amazing without them. Um, I just like getting them and i might not always love to get them i might change my mind next year i might change my mind later in the year who knows but for now i am very pleased and i know that everything i get done at viva is so good they are just so caring so professional they are all doctors and nurses they are all well qualified so i feel like i'm in very safe hands there and they're just so amazing so if you are thinking about getting anything done i would say definitely had go to viva i think they're incredible but yeah nobody needs to get anything done we are all beautiful so i've got some bits to show you as you would have seen i popped into the white company i feel like i literally cannot go to tom Joel's without going in the white company it is just perfect and i find the tom Joel's one is probably my favorite because it's got an upstairs a downstairs i just find it so calming everything is laid out so well so I decided to pick up a little pre-spring candle. Not that I don't have enough, but a lot of my candles are quite wintry. So I wanted to get a couple more spring ones. I love these like wax pillar botanical candles with all the bits inside. I just think they're gorgeous. And how beautiful does that look with the pink ribbon? This is the scent spring and it's honeysuckle, rose and cut grass. And I just thought that sounded beautiful. So I don't know whether to save this until we move or whether to start burning it now. Who knows, but that just smells unreal. And then also before I left Viva, I just picked up a new foaming cleanser. This is the Ibaji medical one that I use. It is hands down the best cleanser I have ever used. And my one's running low, so I just got a new one. 
As I showed you um, in the car, I went to Mrs. Florist and picked up some flowers. How beautiful are these? If you are local to Tunbridge Wells, I really recommend going into Mrs. Florist because they just have such gorgeous bouquets. You can buy like a pre-ready-made one or you can just go to like the array of flowers that they have and make your own. They can help you make one. They can make one for you. I just love it. I love a service like that. And often I find in some florists, especially in London, I feel a bit awkward. I feel like they almost are looking at me like, do you actually know what you're doing? Like judging, like me picking up flowers and they're like, mm, that doesn't go together. But the team in there are so lovely. Every time I go in, I have such a good chat and oh, I just love them. So these are what I picked up. I got these gorgeous roses, some hydrangeas, which are my favorite. And then I, God knows what these are called, I'm not sure, but just a load of little pretty branches and like small little flowers just to go in there as well. And my plan is, so let me show you. So as you guys know, I have this plinth, which I bought from Etsy and um, I have my big pot on here and I've had these flowers. These are also from Mrs. Florist and I have had these since October. How crazy is that? These used to be like a maroon red and they've just all dried out and I've had them here for ages because I just love how they look. And then I also just got home and I had a delivery from Pretty Lavish, which I'm really excited to open. I picked out some bits for kind of pre-spring transitional styling. So I thought we could go through this together. I am so excited about the pieces in here. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to pick up a few basic bits that I felt my wardrobe was lacking. And I saw they had this absolutely gorgeous zip up knit top. I just love this. I mean, I know it's black, so it's not giving pretty spring vibes, but this is such a good basic. It's got a lovely collar. It's got like a zip detail all the way down the front. And then at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but the zip doesn't go all the way down. So it's got this gorgeous like split at the front. Oh, I absolutely love this. I think something like this, a really heavyweight luxe knit is just such a good basic for your wardrobe. You could wear this in the evening, the daytime. I am so in love with this and I love the really long fluted sleeve as well. I got this in a size small i will link this down below and then these two are the ones i'm really excited for so you know i love a knitted dress and pretty lavish do the most incredible selection of knitted dresses i honestly think they're unmatched they are so brilliant if you look online you could honestly get any style of knitted dress that you wanted and I don't have anything in this color. I don't have any knitted dress in this style and I just love it. So this is like a collared detail, long fluted style knitted dress. And oh my God, this is gorgeous. It's got a huge fluted long sleeve, really, really long. So if I stand back, you can see it's super long. It's kind of down to like the length of my jeans. So almost down to my ankles. Such a gorgeous color for spring. Oh my God. Imagine this with like a leather jacket or like a boxy jacket on your shoulders. Or now I would wear this with like a long coat in a similar color with knee high boots. Oh, absolutely love that so much. I got that one in an extra small by the way. And then this is the one that I saw and I was like, I need to place an order with Pretty Lavish because this dress needs to be mine. Oh my God, it feels incredible. Oh, it's even more amazing in real life. Okay, so this is a chocolate brown, thick knitted dress, really a simple shape, just a simple round neck, nice, long, slightly fluted sleeves. And then it goes all the way to the floor and at the bottom it has these tassels. So just really, really cool. I am so in love with this. Oh my God. One thing I'm wondering is it does look a little bit see-through. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of got, cause it's like a thick knit, it's got little holes. So I don't know if that's gonna be see-through. We'll have to see. I think it should be fine. 
but that is absolutely gorgeous look at those tassels on the bottom right i've just freshened up and i've just set my tripod up to film a reel um but i thought i would give you a top tip if you have like a really big plant pot that you love that you want to put flowers in but it's porous or any pot to be honest so i've got this one here which was actually a turquoise blue patent shiny plant pot that i bought from tk maxx i think for about seven pounds um and i painted it white it actually used to be gray i painted it gray then i hated it so i painted it white and then i used like a brown paint and a sponge to give it that effect that kind of like worn effect and then i've got this vase here which fits perfectly in here so i filled that up with water and i just popped that inside and you can see you literally cannot see it at all so in here the flowers will sit in the vase they've got the water and it's perfect absolute genius and it works for any size pot as well even if you've got like just a really nice pot that you really want to put some flowers in but the water is not going to stay in that is a great idea so i'm gonna put my flowers which literally look at them in this light oh my god that is just music to my ears oh my god look at that so stunning so i'm gonna arrange these in my pot and we're gonna have some lovely spring vibes in here I think they look absolutely beautiful this is like my dream bouquet of flowers cream white a tiny little hint of pink so pretty like all these kind of italian vibes oh it's like english country garden and italian farmhouse vibe i absolutely love it also i don't know if you saw in the time lapse but i've got a really good trick that i saw on pinterest of how to make your roses look like this and they have to be good quality roses but you basically just peel back really gently and kind of like fold back the petals on the outside and oh my god it just makes them look stunning i don't know what these are called if anyone knows please let me know because these are so pretty i actually had these in my autumn bunch that i picked up that was in here before and they dried out so nice they all went brown and crispy and oh they were just lovely but yeah, hydrangeas and cream roses that are like this are honestly my favourite. I think I'm definitely going to try and get a hydra lots of hydrangea and rose plants in our garden because, oh, they're just so stunning. Also, I don't know what these are called either, but I really love the colours of these. I don't think it's focusing very well, but how pretty are these? They're like furry little sage green pinky blush toned buds like what are these even called i've got no clue if anyone knows please let me know oh my god stunning i'm so happy with this it looks so pretty okay i'm now just going to make the bed with fresh bedding i always do that on a friday it's just so nice going into the weekend with fresh bedding um i've actually put a different sheet on today i've gone for my linen it's kind of like a oatmeal -y beige shade of linen um this is from bed folk i absolutely love their linens they are so good they're like proper linen they're not like a cotton style linen um but they do get super creased so i'm gonna give this an iron and i always just iron my bedding when it's on it's so much quicker it's so much easier you're not faffing around with it on the ironing board has just texted me and said he'll pick me up at six so 
I'm guessing we are going to the pub. Um, I've just quickly chucked on, I put this cream jumper on to film that reel earlier and I actually love it. Um, this is from Pixie Market. It's got like a little backless detail. It's so lovely. I've had it for years and I still absolutely love it. Um, so I've just chucked on my cream coat over the top, wearing the same jeans, but I put my Uggs on for the pub because they're nice and comfy and the pub is pretty casual. Also, how absolutely stunning does our bed look? Just how inviting is that on a Friday night? Crisp sheets, fluffy pillows, and then Jack's absolute monstrosity of a water bottle. <laughs> Here's a quick look at my outfit before I go. Really simple, comfy, perfect Friday night pub attire. Good morning, everyone. We have come to Camper Sands this morning for a walk along the beach. It's such a nice day. It's literally blue skies, so sunny. What was the temperature? 11, 12 degrees, so it's not super cold either. So yeah, we're just gonna have a lovely walk this morning and then I think we might, well, we were saying maybe go to a pub, but I don't know what there is around, we'll see. Um, and Jack wants to make a beef wellington tonight. Do you still wanna do that? Mm, not sure about that now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the supermarket later and get some bits for dinner and just have a nice Sunday So yeah, that is the plan. I'm wearing Adenola leggings This jumper is from under the stories and I've got a long sleeve H&M uh, Top underneath as well for warmth and then I'm gonna wear my coat which I'll show you once I get out of the car So yeah, I'm gonna go have a nice walk. Should we get a dog? See that's why I just think a dog would suit us so well Huh? This coat is from, um, I think it's from New Forest Clothing. Country jackets are so ex- I'm talking to my vlog. Country jackets are so expensive. They're always like a few hundred pounds and I'm not spending that. So I found this one, I think it was about hundred pounds. It's not too bad. I absolutely love it. Whenever I wear it, you guys always ask me about it. Look how nice it is. It's lovely. Yeah, all good to go. Phone in my pocket, I've got my camera. That's all we need. Where are you going? I don't know, I was following you. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god, Rocky. We've never been to this bit of Canvas Sands before. Usually we go like right down that side, which is kind of close to- rocks are Close, it's what? Rip wrap. Rip wrap. Remember that from your geography sissy? <laughs> yeah, we've never been to this bit before. I think it's called Jerry's Gap. My friend Helen came here, so um, that's why we came, because we saw she was here. Oh my God, look, the tide's really far in. Yeah. Wow, this is so nice. Yeah, I know. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> It's a big wave. Like See ya. <laughs> it's like having a child. <laughs> oh my god, it's absolutely boiling. Oh, I'm so hot. We just walked 25 minutes from that side over to here. So this is kind of like, I'd say this is like the main bit of Canvas Sands really, where you've got all the dunes and everything else. In the summer, this is absolutely grand. I've basically spent the whole time looking at all the dogs and going, oh, look at that dog. <laughs> there are so many cute dogs. Also, we've come to the conclusion that we need to get a dog. 